This skip coming to you live straight out of Real Hot Aquatic Kennels. It's about uh, 4:30, October 15, 2012. Good Monday morning. Had to go out and walk the dog and uh, check out the aquarium room. I figure I'd do an update video while I'm out here. As you can see, it's dark as heck out here on the street. Out here on the land, they go Big Zeus. My main man, Bosco. God dog. Hey, come on. Come on out here. Good. Yeah. Yeah, do it. Now, my aquarium house is is always evolving. So, as you can see, there have, has been some changes. Quite a few changes. I have a 90 gallon over here by the door now, by the entrance. And a 75 gallon with an iron um, metal stand. As you can see, big bow jack. Come on down, big bow jack. Come on down so the people can see you. I'm out. And I put my hands up. You know, he, they very aggressive. I have some other uh, young pyros and red tigers and Midas in this tank. Hiding out, chilling. Uh, let's see. Over here to my left, Bojack's father, Big Trap Jaw. Weighing in at a whopping, he probably bought 16 inches now. And I mean, his body is at least. Probably about three and a half inches thick. This is a red trimex, people. This is a pure green trimex. This is a common trimex we used to see back in the day. All green, pure red eyes. What you doing out there, Bosco? Yeah, that's my big boy right there. 110 pounds. American Dogo. I like Dogos and I like uh, American Bulldogs. I prefer American Bulldogs mainly, as you can see. That's my man Bosco when he was younger. And uh, Mystic, my female American Bulldog, she was like 115. Love her to death. Rest in peace. She just passed not too long ago. Up here, some lion's eyes. Islotum, bad Islotum. Got Argentine here. My man Bobo, off a of big Casanova. Oh, and that's not forget. I don't like the lighting over here. But I have Big Rampage Jr. He's pushing about 16 inches now. Come on out, Rampage. And mustard, they have some eggs over here somewhere, so I don't even really want to bother them. Bother them right now. They have a lot of reflections in here. Pyro Trimax. Another set of Pyro Trimax. These are for uh, Pikachu and Rodan. My Wild Court uh, Trimax. Got some Festays in this tank. Let's see. Look like Casanova and the, uh, they're about the legs again. You can see his hump is coming up. Usually when his hump get real big, that means it they're just about to lay. See if I can do something. I look like they got eggs in that flower pot now as we speak. Then I can bring them out. There you go. There you go. There you go. Yeah, it's hump is starting to come up. Her hump is coming up as well. This is a mother and father. Uh, King Bobo over here. 
who is a, I mean, an avid glass banger. Mean as heck. He get a huge nut on this head too as well. It's a lot of reflection in here. Hard and tear. Big Zeus. Who knows how big Big Zeus is now. I know he's over 24 inches. It's freaking huge. Way too big for this tank. But at this size, it's really risky to move a fish at this size out of this tank. Without the proper equipment. Of course, this net up here is this is a fishing net. This is a uh, this is actually a 24 inch uh, net. And it's, it's even uh, 20 inches deep. And Zeus can't even fit in it without rushing his stands or something like that. Plus, a lot of times you move big fish like this without the proper equipment. You can um, bend their spine. He's happy. He's happy. He's good and it was female, so I won't even bother him. It's a bad little hugaboon over here. It's been wreaking havoc in this tank with the Vihars. Uh, they're they're going to cope it right there. Redhead Barfossi Autumn, Argentia, regular Bob Midas, Suspellum, Conkle, Mariner was just getting punished. Uh, orange, um, uh, orange Suspellum, the Mariners, that's a different um, bloodline, different variety type. Armorello down here, and some Dovis. This is my yellow, black Dovi, yellow, yellow race. I'm be over here. Another glass banger. He's pushing about 12 inches now. Rodan! A wild core trimax. You can see it, you can see the difference in the wild core trimax. And uh, a pyro trimax. Rodan's fans are much more velvety. They're not as sturdy as the regular pyro trimax. But he's just as colorful. Not as colorful, he's just as colorful, but you know, that's all based on opinion. Little teardrops. Rodan is pushing close to 11 inches. Beautiful specimen. He's, of course, the father of those babies you saw over there on the other side. I have fans running in the aquarium room 24 7 on both, both ends. Another uh, fan on that side. That's to keep the humidity down. I run this all day long, 24-7, all night. Uh, we had some fest days over here. A bunch of them. Between two and four inches. Got a nice big one. I got off, uh, well, a couple of big ones I got off of my main man, DQ, from the CCA. I got some other uh, wild ones. Off of man, Ken. In Chicago. I got like three, three sets and one uh, nice, the nice meal on the other side and three sets of uh, fest days now. Uh, it's by special request. I mean, I had a lot of family members, friends, and including my wife, wanted me to breed some hardier, sturdier fest days, and then uh, so I took on the project as a challenge. In the next three years, you'll see some fest days from me that you probably have never seen before. There's three different types of fest days. A lot of you may know, a lot of you may not know. Of course, I know I have the critics that question it. But it's three different types. There's the monarch fest days, the, the regular green fest days, and your, your red fest days. The monarch is more orange. The males look exactly like the females. They have the bar, the black blotch on the dorsal fin, and everything. And they get real, real orangey and blue. And they're huge. They're the biggest out of all the fest days. Got some uh, mariners and some lion's eyes in that tank. Maybe, uh, 
Girl Pikachu and Cherokee Pyro Trap Max. Got my yellow race Dova over here. Got the last of the Mohicans off of Chaos. This little Chaos Jr. Getting some size on him too. Chaos Jr. He pushing about 10 inches now. Just as big as the female. She was much bigger than him at first. Now surprisingly I have some Grimoldis over here that are not shy at all. They actually hit the glass. They like uh, between 4 and 5 inches. Got my red tiger of them keeping that, uh, his, his father and mother over there. Divided with the bars. Nice right, Grimoldi. Got a couple other projects going on. Got a lot of Bob Midas fry. The 75 gallon grow out tank. Well, they're not exactly fry anymore, I, I should say, because they're probably pushing like an inch now. But there's hundreds of them. They're all over. And I got another uh, tank full of fry. These are a bunch of Feste fry. I got from my main man. These are those monarchs I was telling you about. They get huge. My man Bojack. So you can see. Each end of the spectrum, Bojack comes out. As you can see that difference between Bojack and my wild court. A little more coloration, much more red, deep red in the chest area. Fins are much sturdier. He's much he's much more muscular. And a tad bit more aggressive than my regular wild court. Yellow race uh, Trimax. That's a yellow race Trimax, but that's a wild court one. A lot of people say there there is no such thing as a gold or yellow Trimax. Here's living proof right here, and this is a wild one. Pure Trimax. But you know, some people feel if you've never seen one or you never heard of it, I've been doing this since the 80s. Well over uh, 20 years, matter of fact, 27 years. And I've learned how to breed and isolate all DNA patterns in the cells. Here's another red tiger mold, Gwensy female. I got some of her babies in this other tank over here. This is a pure green Trimax, people. Old school. Red eyes, everything. You can see the difference. I'm showing you different Trimax, different variations of the Trimax, so you can see for yourself. I got so many of them. Back to Bojack. This is this is this green Trimax trap jaws. Son Bojack. I bred trap jaw when one of my female Trimax missed it. And here's the end result. All springs looks better than the parents, as usual. Dovi over there, two Dovi's. As you can see, they going at the glass. One much smaller, one like about six inches, the other one like eight inches, but you know how they go up in here. Skip, I'm out.